In this lecture, we are going to talk about the second type of sequence which is tuple. So in this lecture, we are going to take a look at how tuple are created in Python and how we can use it in Python language. So what is tuple? Tuples are sequence, just like list. The only difference is that tuples can't be changed. You can't change the value of the tuple. Tuples are identical to list but has different syntax. Tuple start and end with parenthesis. Other than that, everything is identical to the list. So let me show you how you can create tuple in Python. So here I'm going to create a tuple. So I'm going to create a variable tu and then I'm going to specify tuple to it. You can create a tuple with parenthesis as I said earlier. I'm going to specify parenthesis and here I'm going to specify different values to it. In this tuple, I'm going to specify 1, 2 and 3. You can notice the tuple is identical to the list but instead of specifying these values in the square bracket, I'm going to specify it in the parenthesis. In this opening and in this closing parenthesis, I'm going to specify different values in this tuple and these values are separated with commas. Now what if I print this statement? If I just print this tuple, I'm going to have the tuple as a result. And if you want to access any value from this tuple, you can simply use index. So if you want to access this second value, you can use here one. So the index of this second value is one. You can access the second value with this one index. When I try to print the statement, you're going to get two as a result. What if you want to create a tuple with just one value? For example, let's say you have only one value in this tuple, just like this. When you try to print this statement, you're going to get this result. Now you can notice this is not a type of tuple. This is a simple integer value. So you may wonder, how to write a tuple containing a single value. In that case, you can specify here comma. Instead of specifying just one value, you can specify here comma to indicate this is a tuple. Now, when I try to print this statement, you're going to get this type of result. So now, this one is in the tuple. Now, you can use multiplication operator to create a tuple as well. So for example, if I just specify here 3, multiply by 20, just like this, then what do you think? What would be the result? When I try to print this statement, I'm going to get 60 as an integer value. This statement is not going to take this value as tuple. It's going to take this value as integer. And this 20 is multiplied by 3. So you're going to get the integer value. So what if I want to get the tuple as a result? I'm going to simply specify here comma, just like this. I'm going to get the value in tuple, just like this. So this value is now multiplied by 3 and I'm going to get 3 values in this tuple just like we learn in the list. This is a default value of this tuple and this value is going to multiply by 3 and I'm going to have 3 values in this tuple. Now let's take a look at a very simple example. Now what if I try to change the value of the tuple? So if I just specify here tuple just like this and if I try to change the value of this tuple just like this, if I specify here tu and I want to change the value of the second index, I'm going to specify here 10. Then when I try to print this statement, I'm going to get an error message. Because as I said earlier, tuple is immutable. You can't change the value of the tuple. So whenever you want to change the value of the sequence, you can use list instead of using tuple. Now what if I want to slice value from this tuple? I can simply use a slicing. So here I'm going to specify 0 and then specify here 2. And then when I try to print this slicing in this print statement, you can notice I have the slice tuple. Now let's take a look at some important functions you can use with tuple. So here I'm going to just get rid of this slicing and if I just specify here len and specify here tuple, then I'm going to get the length of the tuple as a result. Then I can use max function to get the maximum value of the tuple and I can use mean function to get the minimum value from the tuple. That's pretty easy, right? For an exercise, try to concatenate two tuples with plus operator and see the result. 